I'm going to show you how to make a braided ribbon barrette using the My Ribbon Barrette Maker. First, from out of your container here where you are storing everything, take out two ribbons of your choice and a barrette. The barrette just goes right into this little hole here. And then you take your two ribbons and in the center, put them on the side so they are between the back of the barrette and the plastic piece. Then you are going to loosely tie a knot. And I say loosely because you, then you want to bring it above the top. If it's too tight, you're going to have to unloosen it. Uh, it would be best to do a double knot here so that it can stay in place. And you make sure you're going under the top of the barrette so that the knot is underneath it. Then you're going to take your colors. I'm going to start with purple. So that's going to go on one R, it's labeled in front here, and one L. My yellow will go in two R and in two L. Now in the beginning, this is going to start to slide around. But after you fill it up with about 10 um, braids, then it will be tight and it will look like this right here. So you first start with your one L. You take this, you slide it through the side and you put it over here in three R because you already have these two spots. And then you move over your yellow. So after every time you move one, you move all the rest of that line over. So I'm taking the other purple one and going across. You want to make sure that if they twist up as you're bringing them through that you untwist them so that they lie flat on the barrette. See, now I've done the two purple, move these over, start with the yellow, do the same thing. You're going to continue to do this all the way through the end. Just sliding it through. Make sure you always pick, if you start on the left side, continue to always pick from the left side first. Otherwise it won't line up and it won't have that braided look because you'll have, too, you'll have um, too many from one side. So right now I have, I'm finishing up number three and you end up doing about 10 or 11. Um, depending upon thickness of your of your and how tight you're pulling and how far back you pushed. I'll do one more here and then kind of show you what it looks like. It doesn't take too long to do this. It comes with quite a few barrettes and even more ribbons so you have lots of choices and you could go and buy more barrettes if you wanted to use up all of the ribbons and use up all the beads. There's more beads and ribbons that you really than you really need for how many there is. So so far that's what I have and I'll just keep going until I get to the end. At the end you want to take your ribbons and then you're going to tie them in a double knot. Now I haven't done it on yet on this one, my first one, because my daughter wants to put them on and pick out which one she wants to do. But then you can pick out 
some of these little beads and then you can just slide them on and then tie them off wherever you want them to be and then cut off any of the excess. And there you have, and that's how you can make a braided ribbon barrette.